by and large a human being takes a human birth by and large meaning almost always unless there is a specific reason to take a birth other than a human i won't say only animal a birth other than a human if there is a absolute necessity or need then you may be given or allowed to take a birth other than a human but not in the normal course of events you will always take a human birth once you have started the cycle of human births but if it is different then is it for good or for bad oh uh, well both in in the sense that uh, uh, if if uh, say for example you are allowed to take a animal birth then it will have to be for a very specific reason and uh, it will probably be for uh, learning a very big lesson or completing some major karma that you have incurred so yes you will in that one incarnation say as an animal i'm just giving you an example complete that major karma or learn that lesson so that is a good thing but at the same time it will be a very painful possibly a very painful uh, uh, experience or uh, incarnation yes so yes good and bad both but yes. as we say even human beings uh, number of human beings are also increasing number of toxins are also increasing so new new uh, souls are coming up or yes uh, uh, there, there is no dearth of souls in the astral world and uh, as as the planet progresses and evolves these souls want to take uh, birth and come more quickly there are two things why the why the population of the planet is increasing a because more souls want to take a human birth and two uh, the old souls want to come quicker so uh, uh, earlier there used to be say maybe a 100 year 200 year time gap between one birth and the other now this probably 5 or 10 years or even less than that so yes the population is increasing and and that is that is a grand plan it's a divine plan like we can't question why it's as per the energies of the planet the uh, the, the evolution the masters they decide these kind of uh, policy decisions because there will so, be many other earths also maybe. there are earths. there are planets there are planets uh, not in our solar system but uh, yeah in other solar systems where they do support humanoid life maybe not exactly like earth but very similar yes very similar there are undoubtedly there are and i think in another uh, 20 years or so we will possibly discover them or make some kind of contact i'm sure